In this video, we will show you how to perform a color measurement using the setup we discussed in part 1. First, check whether your setup is connected and complete. Turn on your light source. We recommend to wait approximately 10 minutes before starting your measurement to let your light source stabilize. Place the sphere on the WS2 white reference tile. Open Avasoft and click on Start to start your measurement. If Avasoft was not already in scope mode, select scope mode by clicking on measure mode S. To define the correct integration time and averaging, you can click on the numbers displayed to alter them. However, we recommend to use the auto configure setting. Save your white reference by clicking on Save Reference Spectrum. Place the sphere on the BS2 black reference tile. Save your dark reference by clicking on Save Dark Spectrum. To check whether the previous steps were performed correctly, select Reflection Mode by clicking on Measure Mode R. In this mode, you can see the reflection curve based on your white and black references. Now check if the reflection spectrum is 0% for your black reference and 100% for your white reference by once again placing the sphere on both of the reference tiles. Click on the color option in the application toolbar. In this application, you can see the measurement displayed as a color output. Right now the color output is black since the sphere is still on the black reference tile. Click on the settings button and select your preferred parameters. In this example, we are using the LAB CIE standards. Now you can start measuring your color sample by moving the sphere over it. If you're still experiencing difficulties after following these instructions, please contact us for support.